All right, so let's discuss um, some of the things that the students uh, should be able to see. So the first and probably the most important thing is to know what the focal length of your lens is. Um, so they're labeled. Um, they're either 5 centimeters, 10 centimeters, or 15. If you don't know what they are, you can use a light source. And when you're a distance of a focal length away, um, unfortunately, this light is not the best. Um, maybe I'll do it on the table. When you're focal length away, you should get um, basically a bright spot. So this one, I believe, is a 10 centimeter, no, 15. This one's a 15 centimeter focal length lens. So your object. Yep. And that's that, so that's the flipping of the image uh, from this picture. So when you look through the lens, people will look upside down. So the, let me ask, you, is it so, I know, is this a convex lens? Um, it's, con it's convex on both sides. Okay, yes. so that's the difference between a pair of eyeglasses. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that you're not seeing those upside down. Um, a little bit that, um, yeah. So we didn't get into all this divergent okay. lens convergence. Yeah, the eyes also act as a lens, and the eyes also flip something upside down, and your brain undoes that flipping upside down. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so your eyes naturally um, acting as a lens, the image formed on your retina is upside down, but your brain knows that, and so it flips it inside the brain. So then, if you flip it one more time with a lens, your brain doesn't know that, and so it looks upside down. So what about your the glasses won't flip it upside down. The glasses are designed such that the magnification is a positive number. And so the glasses don't use biconvex lenses, so convex on both sides. Um, they use a combination of concave and convex. Um, yeah, and they're also not, yeah. So there's, there's engineering that has to go into the shape of the lens so that you get the right uh, magnification. OK, so let's talk about uh, what we should be able to do and demonstrate. So this lens being 15 centimeters, we want to place our object at a distance of 15 or greater. If you place it less than 15, um, you'll form what's known as a virtual image. The image will actually appear to be on the same side of the lens as the object itself. That's useful if you're going to cascade multiple lenses, but not useful for a projector. For the projector, you want to have your object a distance further than the focal length away. So with 15 centimeter focal length, I'm going to place this at roughly 18. And then I'm going to put my flashlight uh, to illuminate the object. And then somewhere off in the distance, so about here, I see the objects in focus. So right about at this distance, maybe I would say two yards away, so about 72 inches away, the object is in uh, focus. So what your students can do, they can measure how big the object is in the object plane. They can look at how far it is away so they can record two quantities. So what your students should try to measure is they should measure H prime and they should measure I. They should measure how big is their object and how far away was it. The transparency itself, it has dimensions of those lines in inches. So the black line is exactly one inch long. The red line is three quarters of an inch and so forth. So they can compare how big the height is, so this is the input. You know how big the height is. You know how far you are from the lens. And based on these two quantities, you can use this formula to calculate what the image distance is. And you can check, did it focus at the right position? If it didn't focus at the right position, you can ask questions like, well, what is less than optimal in the setup? And one of the things that's going on is that the flashlight itself is not an ideal source. Ideally, you want light that's coming as a collimated beam that's like not diverging, and it just looks like it's a far away illumination. Because the LED has lenses, the light's actually diverging as it's coming out of the flashlight. The size of the f image is not constant. So these assumptions that went into this derivation are not perfect. They're approximately good, and your measurements should be close. But they're not going to be exactly this formula. So a discussion point can be, when you made your measurement, first of all, what gives you the best accuracy? Placing the object very close to the focal length, placing it further away from the focal length. What's the accuracy in measuring this image distance? How well does it recreate this formula? 
how well does it recreate the formula that the magnification, which is the ratio of H prime, which you're going to measure, to what you put in, which is H, how well is that equal to negative I over O, the image distance, the object distance? Again, it's not going to be perfect because the flashlight is not exactly a source. The derivation actually should be, like if you have a flashlight very far away, so it looks like it's a constant size beam, um, then these formulas will work very precisely. So those are some of the things that you can have students do to see whether they understood the topics and whether they understood the concepts. Um, one of the things you can explore with the school students um, is that you have different focal length lenses. So they can do the image with the 5, they can switch to the 10, they can do it with the 15, and see how does that change the way that the image is formed. You have to be farther away than the focal length. You have to be farther away to get a positive real image, yes. Um, how much are the lenses? Um, the lenses in bulk are a dollar a piece. Um, the shipping is like 60 cents a piece when you order like 100 of them. So I paid like $85 in shipping for um, 300 lenses. We'll have how many? Um, each STEM club will get 12 lenses, four of each, or sorry, yeah, four of each focal length. Extra money that we would have to. Yeah, so if you wanted to uh, splurge and have every student take home their lens, sure. We can, you can do that with the, with the spare funds. Yeah, part of what, I, part of the, the flexibility with the free funds is that you can pick things that either enhance the experience of a single activity, allow you to do new activities, or to go into more depths and be able to merge activities. You can buy consumables, sure. Yeah. So. How about these sheets? Yeah. Oh, the sheets, yeah. I will, each uh, kit will have 50 of the sheets, and you'll also have the electronic copy if you need to print additional ones. Yeah. <laughs> the transparency is the expensive part. The transparency is like 75 cents per sheet to print in color. So it's, yeah, yeah. But whether your glasses uh, can act as a lens, see whether that, that works or not. Um, the other thing I mentioned with engineering design, you can also encourage your students to design a better system. Like, is there a better way to hold this transparency um, than just having the single cutout? Is there a better way to pull these components together? Um, yeah, things like. Okay, so Ellis has set this up um, such that the transparency is 12 centimeters away from the lens. And he's about, he should be 60 centimeters, the lens should be 60 centimeters from the wall. So in this setting, um, with the 12 for the object distance, we should have a magnification of um, uh, uh, 5. So we're going to measure this quarter inch on the wall that we've projected. So it's moving around a little bit, but it looks like it's slightly more than an inch. It should be an inch and a quarter. So it's, it looks like it's close to that correct magnification. Okay, so go ahead and move it back to 15. So with the source distance being, or the object distance being 15, um, he should get closer to the wall in order for it to be in focus. And he should see at about um, 60 centimeters, uh, or sorry, at about 30 centimeters from the wall, so half as close as he was before, um, it should get into focus. So maybe step a little bit back. All right, so at this distance, um, the quarter inch line is closer, wow, the camera is saturated. The quarter inch line looks closer to half an inch. So we do have a magnification of two, which is what we expect. So play around with different distances um, for the transparency and move back and forth to get the object in focus. In general, the object will not create an image unless the source distance, the object distance is greater than 10 centimeters. So right now he has it less than 10 centimeters and no matter where he goes, it doesn't come into focus. So you can adjust it between 10 centimeters and make it longer than 10, um, and then you'll find at some distance it comes into focus.